Mm. Oh, I had to get my outfits. The, 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 I had to get my work clothes. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, all right, I'll go with you. And then me, as a joke. We're walking up from the parking from the parking deck, and I'm just like, oh man, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I cannot be seen with Venerio. I was like, I'm so excited, I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna see. He's like, nah, 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 just don't treat anyone like that. We get to the top of the stairs, <laughs> and we turn the corner, and this guy's older guy is like, yo, I know you. If your microphone's not on at all, all right, we good now. It's on now. I'm glad I checked because I was like, we shut down the camera and shit. So we good. Damn. You good? That was just a little practice run. You look good today. Thank you. I think it's the braids. I like that look. I think it's the braids because ever since I had these braids, every time you see me, you be like, damn, just you look good. Uh -huh. I, think, I think it's the braids. Yeah. I think it's the braids. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, oh, it's not a vlog. I'm so. It's just a video. I've been doing vlogs all week, y'all. So, yeah, this is gonna be a story time. I decided to do this story time because people are always asking me, and I don't know if they ask Lonnie, but I know it's always in the comment section. They wanna know how do we meet? How do we meet? So, I'm gonna do a story time, libations and lituations, episode number two. I got white wine, some light. Lonnie, as you can see, has nothing. No liquor. He officially doesn't drink anymore, which is hilarious because from the time I met this man, it was always drink, drink, drink. Like, literally, you walked into his house and it was a big ass sign that says, take a shot or get the F out. Yes. And here we are. What's months this, later. August? Eight, eight months later. And he. Hmm. He wouldn't, he wouldn't touch alcohol if you paid him. It's I'll hilarious. buy it, though, for a party. I bought it for my sister's graduation party. Didn't so. take no sit. Didn't take not a one. And I got the whole bottle sitting on the counter, and I'm not touching it. You know what I'm saying? It'll be gone, though. Somebody gonna drink it. I know, I know people. Well, yeah. But you don't even want to look. Nah, not really. I don't even have the, the, the inkling to do it. You know, so, don't, don't miss it at all? Trying to save my liver. I mean, if I were to drink, I think the only thing I would do is literally out of health reasons for drinking one glass of red wine. Like, that's all I would do. Oh, that was a, red, a glass of red wine a day keeps the doctor away? Yeah, and dark chocolate, they say. Yeah. Yep, that's the only reason nah. why I would drink. And that's the only thing I would drink. I don't even, not mimosa, like not champagne, not no shots, not no mixed drink. I don't want anything. <laughs> well, let's just do that. I guess, cheers. Hmm. So, backstory on how we met. Me and Lonnie met on an airplane, mm -hmm. which is the normal, like, generic comment that I always write when I do respond to people, and they'll comment, I'll just be like, oh, we met on an airplane. And they'll be like, oh, wow, that's so cool. And it's like, yeah, we met on an airplane. Me and Lonnie used to work for the same company. He is now a full-time YouTuber, so we don't work for the same company anymore. But we worked for a company, we both traveled a lot, and we ended up being on the same plane. And we were both coming into Atlanta. This was, was New Year's? Yeah. New Year's. New Year's Day. New Year's Eve. It was New, Year's New Year's Eve. Eve. New Year's Eve. We were coming in New Year's Eve, and y'all know, you know, I can't get a nigga, get a nigga text me back. And I was going through some stuff with this dude, and like the whole trip we were talking, and I was showing him like, Things that I have like done for the dude. She's not even telling the story with the right inflections that, that I need. I'm gonna just take over this part right here. I'll let you. I'll let you take up. So <laughs> we on a plane. Like. We like chatting it up, right? <laughs> and like now, mind y'all, she looks. Re she's really pretty, right? Oh, but thank at you, at work, when I had seen her, she was just like mid. I was busted. You ain't got a sugar. No, 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 no. You I were busted. busted. You were just mid, and I was like, I kind of see some potential there. And I synced it. Synced it with my own two eyes. So I was like, all right, okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, she dressed obviously more conservative because she was at work. So I couldn't really feel out what her body was like. I knew she wasn't fat, but I knew she wasn't skinny. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me see what she's talking about. She had a little nerd. Look, you had your glasses. 
cool. Oh, I got yeah. glasses too. Whatever. So she's like showing, like she, you know, we talking about our, our situations that we was in, situationships that we was in, whatever. And um, she was telling me how the dude she was talking to just like kind of like was doing, like he was being weird and he was like being distant all of a sudden. And I'm like, you know, then she started telling me all the stuff that she did for him. She was making like specialty drinks. She was showing me pictures of the menu she cooked. Like, but I'm talking about like not regular cook, like, oh, just mm-hmm. baked chicken and string beans. Thing. I'm talking about like steak, lobster with the shrimps on top with a tater. With, you with girl a... be throwing down, y'all. I'm like, I'm like, what? So like at this point, you can cut this part out of the video, but my meat was dumb hard. And I'm just like, <gasps> food is the way to me. I'm like, and you can cook? And this nigga not showing up? Like, he ain't showing up at all. So, I'm kind of like, looking like, okay, tell me a little bit. Oh, more. no, 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 wait, wait, wait. And then, so, remember, you were telling me about your party. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Because you were having a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. I was like, I don't have no plans for New Year's. And then you was like, what you mean? You got this dude. And I was like, he ain't invite me. He ain't said nothing about New Year's. So, so, there was that. Perfect insertion for me. There was that part. Oh, we throwing a party tonight. Slide through. Yeah. Slide through. And she was like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I'm a... She kind of like did it like she was going to think about it. She wasn't like, give me a for sure answer or anything. Even though I was like dumb excited. Like I was like, oh my God, I have New Year's plans. I'm I'm, I'm going to finish. He was talking about the food and how she's going to be so lit. And it was like, it was like really nice because I was like, damn. I was like, I done known this man for all the two days. That we done met on this airplane. And the dude I was talking to, I had been talking to him for probably like two months at that time. I was like, man, he knew me for two days and invited me to his little party. I've been talking to this dude for two months and he ain't invite me to nothing. Lackluster. However, I seen the opportunity and I seized it. Seized it. Carpe diem. He seized it. And here we are eight months later. Yeah. So I had invited her to the party. She, She didn't give me a definite yes or no, but... I was like, cool. So we had this big party, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's showing up. And then she, I think you texted me. Yes, because I because I was still going to wait to see mm-hmm. if Buddy was going to invite me at the last minute. And so I was, like, I was like, I'll let you know. He did. He didn't. So, of course, she pulled <laughs> up. Now, the funny thing is, when she walked in, I was... Now, mind you, your now girl, she was dog. Your girl up. was looking like something. The hair was all like nice, makeup had on this cute little tight little gray dress. You know, it was New Year's. It was New Year's. Yeah, she looked, she looked, she looked, looked like a, a snack, and then some. So I'm, I'm gonna like, find that picture. I'm gonna insert that picture. Remember the picture we took before I walked out the door? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a, that picture's in my Snapchat memories. I'm gonna insert that picture. Yeah. So um, yeah, she came to the party, and I just I'm like, oh damn, she actually looked like something. And uh, it's only funny to me because <laughs> because what? do you remember was this that party? No, this is the going away party. Never mind. I was gonna say the the Taco Tuesday. Yeah, thing. it was a different party. Never mind. But yeah, so um, and then but you didn't get into a video until right. Okay, so we gotta kind of like go forward to come back. So we ended up after that party, the New Year's Eve party. I stayed a little bit. Left. We still stayed in touch. We chopped it up. Like he was like. Literally from the time I met this man, I'm talking about like from the time I met him, he was just like, "Oh, I'm a dope ass nigga. You gonna love me?" And I'm just like, "I did say oh. that." I, I was like, that. "Oh my yeah. gosh!" He was like, "I'm telling you." He was like, "I'm I'm telling you, like I'm just a dope ass nigga. You gonna you gonna love me?" And I was like, "All right, Cause okay." Cause I, <laughs> so I was like, "Okay." So it literally turned out to be that. Like we really just meshed, and we're just just been cool ever since. And how the YouTube stuff came about was when I first met him, we were literally just having just a conversation and somehow YouTube came up. Now, mind you, I didn't know who comedian Lonnie was, Fenarios. I will never bring my persona to work. I, I had remembered once he showed me his stuff, I had remembered. I was like, oh, the James character. I was like, oh, I seen that before, probably back like when I had Facebook. But somehow YouTube came up and... I was just we were just talking and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I've always wanted to do YouTube. I said it's literally been on my vision board for like three years. But oh, yeah? I just don't know just like how to get around to it. Oh yeah, you want to do YouTube? Then that's when I found out I want to do who YouTube. he was, <laughs> right? Because at this time he was just he was just Lonnie, the dude from work. Like he was cool. Then that's when I found out like who he was. And then he showed me his YouTube. And that's when I saw like his videos and James. And I was like, oh okay, I this James stuff, I've seen this somewhere before. 
but wasn't putting two and two together. Mm-hmm. So fast forward after New Year's, now we're in January, February, whatever. We just been really cool. Just have a great friendship. Like he really was a dope ass nigga who I was gonna love. Like <laughs> And then she put me in a friend zone. That's the end of the story. No, so Lonnie, Lonnie in the comments, Lonnie put me, ask down, Lonnie put down me in below. <laughs> why did you put Lonnie in the friend zone? Put that in the comments because that'll be the next story. Because no. I don't even have the answer because she keeps saying that I put her in the frame. Why did Lonnie put Jessica in the friend zone? No, no, no. So. Come on, y'all. Would I lie to y'all? Look at this face. Would I lie to y'all? This is my story time. You would lie. This ain't your She gonna alter this. (laughs) Y'all look at the raw footage. Look at the raw footage. She gonna alter this. Damn. No. So, we've already, we've already had this discussion numerous times. We put each other in the friend zone. No, no. We don't agree to that. No, we, no, we don't agree to that. We don't agree to this. So, hashtag, why okay. Lonnie in the friend zone? Because he had a little situation. I didn't have, like, si- the situation I had, obviously, you don't invite me to New Year's, like, and then a bunch of other stuff. You know, you got to go. My situation was done, but we both just always had, like, stuff going on. Long story short, we're, we're great friends. And being a great friend. I'm not even friends with my mama. I'm not even just friends with my mom. You said, why you gotta be like that? I'm not just friends with my mom. Lonnie, I'm not a great friend. friend. Yeah, you a great friend, but I'm not your friend. See, she keep forcing this friend zone thing. I told her from day one, this ain't that. This ain't that. This is what I have to deal with. So, me being in the skits, that came about because me being a good friend, Lonnie was kind of in a place where he was like, struggling creatively he was he was trying to figure out stuff and i was okay well you know like i'm not in that comedy world that you have going on but maybe you know maybe we can figure something out like i can help you boom 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 boom. so i think maybe what like two weeks after we had like that long conversation i don't think it was two weeks it might have been like a week i was in la or i was like still living in la i think you were in la i think he was in la at this point and we were talking and we were we were on video call and I said, you know, and mind you, I was not even talking about myself. I was just saying, I was like, you know what, Lon? I said, you don't have a, a female best friend, particularly one that looks good. I said, for me, being a nice looking female who has a male best friend, I have so many stories and situations that I can tell you from this being my whole life. Because in real life, my best friend is a man. And I was like, you don't have that character in your life. And then he thought about it, and he was like, oh, he's like, yeah. And it turns out he was kind of already kind of, would you say, like, thinking about that or, mm-hmm. or thinking about implementing it already. So when I said it, it was like, hmm. So I think at the time when you did that, that's when I had just did that. Um, I had did the b video, though, the nudes video with the James. And then the artist you, showed you my meats. And then that's when we had the conversation about it. And you was like, oh, it would be dope if. So it kind of happened around that time. Yeah. Like if you had a best friend as well that matched your girlfriend's best friend. Yes. If you had a, because 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 she has James, why don't you have a female best friend? And we just got to talking, trying to see where it was. And then he was like, well, Jessica, why don't you play the part? And I was like, what? What? Scenarios wants me to be in his video. Oh my god! I was like, oh my god! Like I literally was not even talking about myself. And we sat, we talked about it. I was like, okay, cool. You know, we whatever, whatever. And then we shot the first one, which it was the y'all love Sam Catfish. The little transformation one, which is doing amazing, by the way. It's well, what, 1.2 million views yeah, that's already. That's first million view video. Yep, that's the that's the first one. That was episode one. We're already on. We just did. We just look, um did episode eight. No, I think it's nine. That's what eight. episode eight? I uploaded it's, already. It's nine that we just filmed today. Yeah, today. Yeah. yeah, we actually filmed episode nine today. Released that'll, episode eight already. That'll be dropping soon. We just released episode eight, and so yeah, here we are, eight episodes in. Your girl didn't get fired. I actually got a little promotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, scenarios allowed me in his video, and I'm doing good, y'all. Oh my gosh, she's so extra. <laughs> she's so extra. Yeah. So it 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 turned out to be a beautiful thing. So on the on the back end of being put in the friend zone, she did give me my first million view video. So I guess I can live with that for now. See, 
for now. Niggas are never satisfied. Yes, you are correct if that's what you're going to type in the comments. I'm niggas. I... I'm niggas. <laughs> I'm plotting. Listen, y'all think I be joking when I be telling y'all. Lana is so mean to me. He is so mean to me. Y'all, y'all gonna see. We gonna start uploading a lot of vlogs, behind the scenes stuff, bloopers. Y'all gonna see. Lonnie is so mean. I ain't gonna see nothing. Y'all gonna see me being a dope ass nigga, and as she said. And uh... <laughs> here you go. Um. So yeah. So here we are. The, what, like I said, eight episodes in. We done did the neighbors one. Nah, and then yeah, nah, I think that's the only nah. one outside of the best friend that I've done with you. So I guess I can actually do ten, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So the tenth episode will be the final one of this season. Of one. this season, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. Then we'll revamp or like figure out what I'll yeah. do season two. So. And then the neighbors one I did, and then after that, then Jamal reached out to me, started working with Jamal. Then Jay reached out to me, and script work D. All oh yeah, script work. Oh, I I actually worked with script work before I worked with you. Remember? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, script work. They needed a girl. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's in my. You look on my hashtag Skit Life playlist. It's the one. that's the box parody. It has me in it. It's like the girl, oh, yeah, the girl who can't head. cook, which is hilarious because it's the complete opposite of me. Like that entire video is the complete opposite of me. That's why acting is so fun. You can always play opposite. You can always you yeah be be what you who you aren't. You're in there, and who? Oh, Jamal was supposed to be in it, but he ended up not not be, not being there. So mm-hmm. yeah. That was super fun. That was like one of the first videos. And then, yeah. Oh, and then Kix. Then I, I met Kix at the taco party. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I you met, met him Kix at, at wow. New Year's. Yeah. But when I, but even with Kix, I didn't know who Kix was until the taco party. Art of Kix, she's talking about with Art of Kix, D, mm-hmm. who I just uploaded my bikini try on haul with him. When I met him, I didn't know who he was as a YouTuber. Went until the taco party. The taco party was what? March? Yeah. March? Yeah, it was when you guys Wait, left for No, no, no. It was um February. Feb- I left I left Feb- March 2nd. Yeah. February. So, it was a good two months where I was just like, oh, well, okay. What was your first impression of me? I think the people would want to know. I'm just asking interesting questions to make this. A- My first impression of you? No, of the other guy. Yes, me. No, I mean like at work or off work. Because it's different. Because when I my first impression of you when I met you at work, I was just like, oh, he just another. Yeah, like yeah, when I was like, at work, was, I was like yeah, super just, like laid back and yeah, nonchalant. Like, like, I'm, like you wasn't talking a lot. I was just like, I was like, oh, okay, this work trip is not going to be that bad. Mm-hmm. I was like, he cool. I was like, out of out of everybody who is around me now, you see, I vibe with you. Like yeah. I, I, I kind of we kind of stay linked up the whole trip. My first impression of you, again, like how me, once I saw you outside of work, I was like, yo, I was like, he's so fun. He's crazy. Because, you know, it was New Year's. This is when I, again, the house, the sign, take a shower, get the F out. Yeah, I was about to Like, look. yeah, like, it, you were just chill. You were partying. You were having a good time. It was like, whoa, this is not the dude that I just have known for the past yeah. two days. Like, complete opposite. So, it was kind of like a two-part. I liked both, but I did like the energetic version better, if that makes sense. Yeah. But now that I've gotten to know you, it's like a mix between the calm you and the energetic you. Now? Yeah. Yeah, I have my moments, I guess. Because we have fun together. We'll do like some turn up stuff, but then me and you will literally be on the phone for like two hours just having conversations about... We looked up million dollar houses the other day. Everything. Like, we we, Um, we we talk about... Love relationships. Tell me a conversation about politics. Like we literally can talk about like everything. Yeah. I mean, we've been on video call. I think. Well, I think. What's? I think it was like two like, two hours and some change. One time we stay on video call. Mm-hmm. And like you said the other day, we were literally on WhatsApp video calling, looking up houses like yeah. <laughs> through the computer. <laughs> like in the next year, it'll be a different house, which also you can be so much skits in. In the next year, I'm speaking into existence. Claim it, you know, big time over here. Lon- Lonnie just swears that when he gets big time, that's when it'll be like, oh, Lonnie. I know a lot of y'all are watching this right now, and we have the same <laughs> feeling. So all of y'all are watching, I got y'all. Okay, but I can say the same thing about you with me. What? I'm growing big on YouTube too. Now, then when I when I get 100K, like you could be like, Oh, Jessica. Ooh la la. Yeah, when you get 100K, I'm be at like 500K. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you ain't got to throw shade. 
My bad. My bad. See, that was just, that's just realities. You know what I'm saying? You can't even celebrate my 100K load. I'm gonna be at. I'm gonna celebrate it. Nobody care. I'm gonna celebrate it. You celebrated mine. She was there. She actually made a cake for my 100K. Um, I did. See, I'm see. I'm always there to celebrate. Like that's you know what? One of the biggest differences between me and Lonnie. I am the type of person where I like to celebrate stuff, whether it be big, small. I do too. I get excited about stuff. Like if you haven't noticed, I get really excited about everything. Lonnie, he's the type. He's like, eh. Like his version of excitement is. Eh. <laughs> my excitement comes from monetary things. Unfortunately, like, <laughs> like he hit 100k. We try to have like a little thing, made him a cake. He's just like, oh, this, this, this. I got a little smile. Like, oh, this is nice. And then he's just like, oh, okay, what's up? Is this, this is I get to eat this, or it's just like for show? I was like, no, then you can eat it. Like, because <laughs> I made him a cake that looked like the YouTube the plaque. plaque. It, it matched his plaque. Like, I got, I'll insert that picture. I have a picture of him holding the cake and holding his plaque. And they look the same. Mm-hmm. Like, so I always do that. Like, she just so, had me so, hold the wrong cake, y'all. That's it. Did. She had me holding the wrong <laughs> cake. Uh, that was problem number one. No. But, so, uh, no, for real though. But, I yeah. Do. I always was, uh, celebrate, like, little stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just different people. I, I've never, just growing up, I've never been that person to, like, like, it was just like, all right, keep going, nigga. Like, it's, like, it was always, it's always like, there's more. So, it, just because you hit yeah. this milestone don't mean that there's not a billion more milestones. So, just. Keep going. Don't take time to like celebrate. Yeah. I ain't crying until I made like over like twenty thousand dollars on social media. That was like that's what made me cry. Shed a tear. No, no, no. I was like boo hoo crying. Oh, like I was like snot. Yeah. Like, like, oh wow. <laughs> like that's like I was like <laughs> nigga. I was bawling. Like so, mine is only tied to like monetary stuff. Like every thing that I make monetary, like I'll probably cry. So and see, I am the complete opposite. Monetary things are good and it's all fine and dandy, but I'm about the little things. You say money don't make money don't bring happiness. They lied. I'm here to tell y'all they lied. <laughs> they lied. I'm not gonna say I won't say that. I'm not gonna say that money doesn't bring happiness. I will say money doesn't bring inner peace. Cause think about it. The more money you got, Shit, the lot more broke. responsibility come along with it. The the lot more people yeah, come along with it. So as I say, I feel like money doesn't bring inner peace. It'll bring happiness. But neither does being broke. So I'd rather cry. I'd rather uh, cry being, in my Tesla than being, I would being, being broke. Nah. Than I would in my Honda. So there's just the facts and the reality of the thing. So. But yeah, so that's just like one of the differences between us and. Then, we have like similarities and stuff, but I just know that that's something that you guys are always asking is like, how did y'all meet? How did y'all meet? And I think it's because I ain't gonna say I popped up out of nowhere, mm -hmm. but I mean, people been seeing you on yeah. YouTube for what yeah, 10 man. years? You've been on YouTube 10 years, long time. Um, been super duper duper consistent the past what year and a half, too. Mm -hmm. And then just out of nowhere, it was like, who's this girl? So I think that people were like, did y'all meet? Where did y'all come from? And you know, people always act like it's so weird or random to meet somebody. What did they say? That looks like me. What did they say? They don't come across girls that look like me, which I think is the weirdest comment ever. I, like, I don't know what y'all mean. Especially here in Atlanta. There's yeah. beautiful women everywhere. I don't understand. But, but yeah, so that's, yeah, I guess that's pretty much the whole story time of how we met from that moment up till now. Yep. And hopefully it keeps going and going and going. Y'all go in on his videos. Watch them. Like, comment, subscribe. But in the comments, let them, let them know I continue to work with Jessica. Because I've been practicing my accent. I'm getting better. And along with all of that comment <laughs> that you put, hashtag why you put it in the friend zone. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, don't hashtag that. <sighs> Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Like, that's exactly how this is. So, appreciate y'all. But uh, thanks for having me. I'm a, uh, All right, guys. So we'll see you later. You want to do your that's crazy outro? You know, because you try to make this your video, but you know. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. That's the best you got. I gotta practice. Cause niggas be coming up to me and be like, "Oh, say it, say it." But <clears throat> wow, mm, that's not it. That's not the. Mm. Insert story. Remember the first time we went out together? We went to Atlantic Station. Okay, so, insert this story.
first time me and Lonnie ever went out together, I was literally going with him just to like run errands, right? We were going to Atlantic Station because you had to go to DSW or something. You had to go somewhere. Mm. Oh, I had to get my outfit. So the, the, I had to get my work clothes. And I was like, oh yeah, I was like, I ride with you, I'll go with you. And then me, as a joke, we're walking up from the parking from the parking deck, and I'm just like, oh man, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I cannot be seen with Venario. I was like, I'm so excited, like, oh my god, we're gonna see. He's like, nah, 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 just don't treat anyone like that. We get to the top of the stairs, <laughs> and we turn the corner, and this guy's older guy is like, yo, I know you, I know you, and I'm just, I'm standing there looking like. And Lonnie said, he, you ever want to see a black man blush? And like, he, he is sitting there blushing and just like, yo, I know you. Man, I watch your stuff all the time. You so funny. And so Lonnie's like, he's trying to be all humble and shit. He's like, oh, yeah, thanks, man. Da, da, da. So the old dude leaves. And I'm just stand, I'm still planting, just standing, just looking. And he's like, listen, that is an anomaly. That is not, I'm like, uh-huh. I was like, uh huh, yeah, mm hmm, right. It happens more now, but then I was, I, then I was, this was probably before I was at 100K though. It was, because so, this, this was like February. Oh, you know what it was though? But the so, shit was hilarious because I literally just said it and he was like, nah, 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 and then it happened. Around that time, Ja had dropped a second video with me in it. Big Ja had dropped a second video with me in it. So because that, so like more notoriety got my way. So it just, it was coincidence. Like, but yeah. Why you just want to live in the moment? I mean, In yeah, Atlanta, your ass really can't go out and walk nowhere for real. I can't. And I was joking when I said it, but low key, it happened 30 seconds later. Yeah, it did. Exactly. Yeah. So that is the end of this story time. I forgot all about that piece, that piece of information. Appreciate y'all for watching. And continue to watch because we don't continue to entertain. Appreciate you. Bye.